Guys, I think we finally have our first bind character. Hello! Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we are going to be talking about the new content update for May. It's going to feature a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, I think you guys already kind of get the end gameplay loop now. It's going to be a couple of events, a couple of times two events, and we got Tsumuki herself. I'm probably going to spend the majority of the video discussing Tsumuki because she's pretty interesting. She shakes up the PvP meta a little bit. She's not Ilya level of game breaking, but like, you know, she definitely has her uses. She also definitely stays relevant longer than Ilya, but let's talk about that later. Alright, you guys know what we're talking about today. Let's just start talking about it. We've got a whole bunch of May events. First, we've got the Tsumugi banner. So Tsumugi is a two-star unit. She is the focus unit. However, Nozomi is the three-star focus. If you guys don't have Nozomi yet, you guys better hurry up and get her from the dungeon shop. Because Nozomi, as well as the other three stars in the dungeon, like, it's best to actually have them and get amulets from them. Simply because getting them is just, like, so freaking easy. Along with Tsumugi, I think Chika is also on rate. Yep. Chica is also on raid up as well. But aside from that, let's move on and we've got new furniture. If you guys have been playing for a while, you guys are probably up like 500, 800k mess. So like freaking just do it, my dudes. It's a cute set for all you furniture lovers. I'm a big like housing fan. Heck to the yeah. Moving on. Oh, look at that. That's actually really cool. So you can actually put them all together and have like the units make an actual stage. You can make a freaking concert. That's pretty lit actually. For those of you who didn't know, there's actually a lot of items that are interactable in the like guild house. One of the first ones that I noticed was actually the llama costume. So if you put a llama costume down, one of the girls will actually get into it and like, you know, become the llama for a little bit. Anyway, I think that's just what this is saying and let's go. Next, we've got the May clan battles. So as predicted, it is coming right after the event. Starting from May 19th, going till May 24th, five days of uh, fun. It's fun. I love clan battle. Mm. I can't wait. The last month we got chicka shards and well, I hope you guys are enjoying your like clan battle rewards. They finally came. Hmm. Who would have thought? Not me. Absolutely not me. But for the upcoming one, I do believe we get Eeyore. I've already uploaded a clan battle preparation video. You guys can go find that on my channel. Probably like three videos back. I go through every boss and I'm telling you like the characters that I'm thinking of using to deal with each of them. This one should be relatively okay. It's, I don't think anything compares to Minotaur actually. Minotaur was just freaking brutal, you know? All right, after that, we got N2 again. Oh baby. So starting on the day of clan battle, we are getting normal quest drop two, which is okay. It's a lot better than releasing equipment on the day of the clan battle. I think this is okay. It just means that we're just going to be dumping all of our stamina into normal quests during clan battle. So that one lasts for about a week and then we are getting hard quest drops times two again. Oh baby. It's got to be my favorite event. I freaking love it. I love like getting like stars up. It just like makes my characters feel so complete. But at the end of that, like that's actually the end. That's it. All right. That's a pretty good speed run. And this is a great, great summary. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that. That is content right there. And that's enough of that. So let's move on to Tsumuki. So here's Tsumuki. I believe she is a musician, if that matters to anybody. She is a natural two star and we are eventually able to get her from the Princess Arena shop. However, I do believe that's probably going to be like another six months away. However, Tsumuki is actually, I think she's quite good in Arena. Let's pop over to her skills and I will show you why. She is one of the first characters with a bind. So let's start with her UB, a small physical damage to all enemies in range. Okay. She slightly pulls the farthest enemies towards her and slightly pushes the closest enemies away. Do you kind of get that? It's kind of like a vacuum. So what that really means is that she helps set up for like either cleave comps or like the comps that like have a lot of AOE but like around a target. If everybody is suddenly a frontal unit because everybody is bunched up together then everybody's sticking damage. That's just like so much utility that nobody actually in the existing cast provides right now. You bunch them up and then you can do a lot of things to them. I think Reno is one of the best characters to actually synergize with her so like looking forward to that. I still don't have Reno but I hope you guys enjoy her. And of course we have the bind which for some reason is also called the stun you can see here that it says inflict bind but like functionally stun and bind they both work like kind of the same way the targets just can't do anything and it's a little bit annoying however this is a 2.5 second stun and if you've bunched them all together then you're stunning like everybody all right let's move on to the skill one which is another pull Sumiki is so interesting her kit like I think it just enables a lot but yeah not much to talk about this we're literally Arknights now we have a puller and a pusher when she gets her UE, it gets even better because she actually stuns the target that she is able to pull. The key thing about this skill is that it actually pulls the second closest enemy. What if that second closest enemy was a DPS? Hmm? 
That DPS is stuffed. Thinking along that line, the UB actually does a lot to do that as well. It just really disrupts that and like a lot of like the distance things that like you were depending on before, it's a lot harder to depend on now. All right, back to it. So when she gets her UE, she stuns the target and she just gives herself a bunch of buffs. Moving on to skill two, we've got an action speed reduction to all targets for 12 seconds. If she's pulled everyone closer and she can target everybody, that means everyone's gonna get the action speed and movement movement speed reduction. Obviously it's going to be hard to get like you know the backline mages or the archers or whatever but like generally this is a really really good thing. Lastly we've got the EX skill which is just a boost to physical defense. Let me talk about that real quick because like you see the bond level bonus it's like physical offensive stats. So here we go as you can see Tsumuki is like right up there not quite up there with the tanks but like really freaking close. As such because she is so far up and her UB is like the distance from her. Let me go back to the UB and show you guys uh here you see here it's pull farthest front enemy within 900 range so it's 900 range from her and that's a lot of enemies i'm relatively sure that reaches into the midline and potentially the backline depending on your comp but yeah as you guys can tell tsumiki is a really really interesting character that entire skill set actually you know what let's have a look at the attack pattern honestly i'm not expecting too much because that skill one is frigging busted the ability to actually like pull a unit towards her the second in line that's just so freaking dank because like there are so many things that you could do with that. What if you pulled someone away from the Saren? I think you guys can see where I'm going with that, right? It's just all this like movement disruption is really freaking interesting. But yeah, okay, so back to the attack pattern. There's nothing stellar. There's actually a lot of time before she is actually able to pull someone up front again. Yes, she'll probably get her UB around here, but like I wish she had her skill one a little bit more. But then again, if she had her skill one a bit more, she'd probably be like absolutely broken. All right, so I just wanted to talk about like a little bit more about her applicability. What does it look like? Like, what does an arena with Tsumugi look like? As we all know, in arena, there are primarily two ways you play. You play on attack and you play on defense. First of all, Tsumugi, she is going to be a two-star natural and her shards only come out with the princess arena coins, which are probably going to be lagging behind by like about six months. In my opinion, in my expert opinion. If you're going to use her on attack, you're going to want her at at least three stars. This does mean that there is a shard commitment of like about like 300 shards or something. Just the amount of divine amulets go from like two to three stars. It's a little bit steep, but it's not unmanageable. She's not game breaking like Ilya, but she is definitely going to ruin people's days. However, if you are insistent on using her on defense, I personally think you need to run her at five stars. I don't know how many of you guys saw, but like when Ilya came out, there was this Misato defense. Misato provides the AO AoE magic defense buff up, AoE heals, she's kind of like the counter to Ilya and it really works but at two stars like you know there's better defenses out there. So back on track, on the offense you can think like right she's pulling everyone together. In my opinion she would be a great addition to cleave comps. I'm talking the Ninon, I'm talking the Reno, I'm talking the Shinobu, I'm talking the Saren, I'm talking the Monica, the Mitsuki, you know what I'm saying? Pull them together and cleave them down. However on defense what I am really eyeing is that skill 2 which is so massive. It is a reduction in action speed and movement speed. Let me see, this one over here. This to me screams stall comp. She's quite bulky considering she has that EX skill with the physical defense up. I don't know how she's gonna do against Ilya, but like this skill too is pretty freaking dang. Imagine you had a stall comp and on top of that, you have this character which freaking slows down the enemy and it's not even an insignificant amount and it's like targeting so many of them. Honestly, I don't know if we'll have a resurgence of the stall meta, maybe another day when we have like I guess more units that will like contribute to stall. However at this point in time I think Ilya will just run over these kinds of comps. So you know I am that car salesperson. I have sold you my car known as Tsumuki. Well do you buy? Do you drop some 10 rolls? What do you do? I think you guys kind of know the answer to this because I did hype her up for arena and here I guess is the consolidated reasons of why. She is a two star and you will eventually get her. To up her stars you actually need to use divine amulets because her shards won't be coming until like probably I would say six months later. The other features on her banner, Nozomi and Chika just aren't that good. Nozomi in particular is just so common it's kind of like I guess a, a waste of gems of opportunity cost. Like you'd rather be rolling on the Ilya to fish for Ilya rather than a Nozomi. And I suppose the biggest reason is that the summer banners are about to come. Even if you've already got like all the funds saved up for like summer Kiaru, you might still end up simping for like summer Pekarin or like summer Tamaki you know? Some 
summer suzume as well you already know what's up when you're rolling for any of them especially skiaru you're probably gonna hit the tsumuki although tsumuki is good i don't think she's gonna have that big of an impact on the meta but i think with her addition it actually is gonna enable a lot of new comps it's gonna be really exciting to see i just hope that two star is able to cut it as for clan battle she just really ain't it you guys already seen it like her skills are a lot of debuffs it's so much utility however most of this utility does just fall flat especially in front of bosses where they have so much immunity and it's for that reason i would say she's a freaking f tier for clan battle she is not crucial at all she's not going to do anything all right i think that's about it for tsumuki actually i do want to talk a little bit more about the n2 and the h2 here if you guys aren't refreshing yet then i suggest saving those refreshes for these guys that's it that's that's all i wanted to say if there was ever a time that i was going to go six times refreshes a day it'd be this one and this one otherwise guys enjoy the two times and i will see you guys in the next clan battle there's nothing else to say let's wrap up the video here secret message mm, vacuum i think her skills make her kind of like a vacuum and that's really cool all right if you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below i would really appreciate it, it means that you've made it to the end of the video which is here and i am very grateful for that i put a lot of time and effort into these videos and you guys watching it validates it and so thank you however with that being said if this video was informative or entertaining or i don't know helped you somehow then consider leaving a like a sub a follow a pin a comment but otherwise as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video Bye-bye.